excluding their lone Super Bowl win in 2018, the Philadelphia Eagles front office and general manager Howie Roseman have been known for questionable mo roster move after questionable roster move. Whether it was trading star running back and fan favorite LaShawn McCoy for linebacker Kiko Alonso, shelling out $60 million for cornerback Namdi Asamwa, or drafting J.J. Arcega-Whiteside over D.K. Metcalf and Jalen Wager over Justin Jefferson in back-to-back -back years. Roseman's tenure as GM has had no shortage of jaw-dropping and disappointing moments and contracts. Following the 2020 draft, a large portion of Eagles fans campaigned for his firing after drafting Wager and Jalen Hurts in the first two rounds. Both picks met with a lot of anger among the fans. After controversy surrounding the league and suspectedly in the locker room led to a 4-11-1 season after winning the division the season before, the intensity and amount of fans asking, begging owner Jeffrey Lurie to cut ties with the 10-year GM increased dramatically. The fans would not get their wish, however, as the result was quite the opposite, with Lurie, a known great friend of Roseman and continuous supporter, would publicly re-say his confidence in him and shoot down any rumors of him being on the hot seat. When expectations and morale amongst fans was at the lowest it had been in a long time, Roseman started dealing. After Super Bowl winning coach Doug Peterson was fired by the organization on January 11th, Howie immediately picked up the phone and seemingly hasn't put it down since. He released Deshaun Jackson after an underwhelming second stint with the team, signed longtime edge rusher Brandon Graham to an extension, and then it came. After dropping the large contracts of Malik Jackson and Alshon Jeffrey, he traded former number two overall pick quarterback Carson Wentz to the Indianapolis Colts, receiving a first and third rounder in return. A massive move that was controversial at first, but would prove to be the start of a long string of incredible moves by Roseman. He signed safety Anthony Harris and defensive tackle Hassan Ridgeway to cheap deals a few days later. After Miami expressed desperation to draft Jamar Chase in the upcoming draft, he took advantage and traded the 6th overall pick and pick 156 to them for pick number 12 and a 2022 first rounder, both of which would be instrumental in creating the foundation for their promising future. He re-signed power back Jordan Howard on April 7th, and then it was draft time. Minutes after the Dolphins failed to get Chase and selected Alabama wide receiver Jalen Waddell, Howie went in a rare trade between rivals, giving Dallas their first and third pick for the number 10 overall pick, and would use it to draft Heisman winning and also Alabama wide receiver Devontae Smith. In the second round, he would take another Bama product in guard Landon Dickerson, hoping he would develop under the star veterans on the Eagles line. In the third, he selected Louisiana Tech defensive lineman Milton Williams. Rounds four through seven consisted of corner Zach McPherson, edges Patrick Johnson and Teron Jackson, tackle Marlon Tui Pelotu, and running back Kenny Gainwell. After a ton of minor moves in the form of UDFAs and cheap veterans including Ryan Kerrigan, he responded to the plethora of fans requesting to add a second cornerback by picking up former Steelers defensive back Steven Nelson on a one-year deal. The rest of the offseason would be particularly quiet, with the only notable moves being acquiring quarterback Gardner Minshew from the Jaguars in, in exchange for a six-round pick and trading guard Matt Pryor to Indy for a sixth as well. On September 11th, just a day before their season opener in Atlanta, he would make his next splash move, extending former rugby player turned seventh round pick in 2018, tackle Jordan Mailata, following his breakout season when he performed extremely well. The deal was met with tons of controversy, as Mailata was not a household name, and he gave him $64 million over four years. As the season started and weeks passed, Boseman's genius would start to shine. He did upset a lot of fans by trading fan favorite Zach Ertz for a 2022 fifth rounder and corner Tate Gowan, who is currently not on the roster after being released on cutdown day. Even though Ertz would have decent success with Arizona, the trade would mean very little in the grand scheme of things. He shipped off Joe Flacco a few weeks later for a sixth, and would use that pick to trade for former LSU defensive back Kerry Vincent Jr. Both trades would have little impact on anything, but why not mention them anyway? 
November 2021 would be huge for the Eagles' future, as on the 19th and 20th, he would lock down best friends, roommates, and rising stars, safety Avante Maddox, and tight end Dallas Goddard to extensions, with Maddox's through 2024 and Goddard's through 2025. No more moves with any weight would take place throughout the rest of the season, and the Eagles would finish with a 9-8 record, improving by 5 wins from 2020 with a young quarterback, new head coach, and new defensive coordinator. Roseman's main acquisitions would all be very successful, with rookie Devontae Smith breaking the franchise rookie receiving record, Mylotta proving himself to be one of the best tackles in the game, Nelson holding his own as the team's cornerback too behind superstar Darius Slay, who I might add, Roseman got for just a third and a fifth rounder in 2020, and draftees Landon Dickerson, Milton Williams, and Kenny Gainwell showing promise and providing excitement about the future in Philly. While the team improved greatly from 2020 to 2021, it's safe to say that this wasn't nearly enough for the ambitious Howie Roseman. As the clocks ticked past 4pm on March 16th, the NFL free agency period officially opened and Howie entered his element. After accumulating 23 and a half sacks in the previous two seasons and being a lifelong Eagles fan to go along with it, Roseman would make another splash move by signing Hassan Reddick to a three-year $45 million deal to add on to one of the best defensive lines in football. He would then rework the contract to Fletcher Cox just hours before he received $18 million in guaranteed money, re-sign backup running back Boston Scott, sign physical receiver Zach Pascal, who had experience with head coach Nick Sirianni in Indianapolis, extend former first-round pick Derek Barnett, and he was off. One of the biggest weaknesses for the 2021 Eagles was the linebacker position. Outside of TJ Edwards, they had no speed or any substantial talent. Howie would address this by signing one of the best coverage linebackers in the league, former Charger Kaiser White. Weeks later, he would be arrested in a case of unarmed robbery, after trading picks number 16, 19, and 194 to New Orleans in exchange for 2022 picks 18, 101, 237, a 2023 first round pick, and a 2024 second round pick. An unbelievable steal for, for Roseman. As day one of the draft started, with it being essentially a guarantee in the public eye that they'd be taking a receiver in the first, and fans were clamoring for Jamison Williams, Chris Olave, or Garrett Wilson. After trading up from 15 to 13 with the Texans, he would select Georgia monster defensive tackle Jordan Davis. While many fans wanted a receiver, it was impossible to call this a bad pick, and how he would grant their wishes of a wideout a few short minutes later. In a blockbuster trade with Tennessee, they would trade the 18th overall pick acquired in the Carson Wentz trade, who would actually get traded that offseason again, by the way, and the 101st pick for star wide receiver AJ Brown, instantly elevating their receiving core to the best it had been in a long time. Roseman wasn't done, however, as in the second round, he drafted Jason Kelsey's handpicked future replacement, Nebraska center Cam Jurgens. In the third, after a draft fall greater than that of Jeremiah Owosu Koromora the year prior, he would take Georgia linebacker and Buckus Award winner Nicobe Dean. The rest of his draft would include SMU tight end Grant Calcaterra and Kansas linebacker Kyron Johnson. After the draft concluded, he immediately extended newly acquired AJ Brown to a four year, $100 million deal for the 2026 season. After losing Steven Nelson in free agency, Roseman would one-up himself and sign all-pro cornerback James Bradbury IV on May 18th. The offseason rolled on without any major moves, but in the second half of August, as the season neared, Roseman would turn it up once again. He would trade 2019 bust Arcega Whiteside to Seattle for safety Ugo Amadi, and nine days later would flip him to the Titans for a late-round pick. Now, the main concern outside of the uncertainty at quarterback for the Eagles was the lack of proven talent at safety. Once again, Roseman was not having that. On cut down day, just a few hours before the rosters need to be trimmed down to 53, he would decide to fleece New Orleans once again, giving up a fifth and the sixth rounder acquired in the Ugo Amadi trade for the 24-year-old elite nickelback and safety CJ Gardner-Johnson 
crushing the hearts of Saints fans and instantly making the weeks of the members of Eagles Nation. His most recent move as of the making of this video, among the flurry of waiver wire transactions, was flipping former first round bust Jalen Rager to the Vikings for a conditional fourth round pick and a seventh. Somehow, some way, getting more for a receiver with less than a thousand career yards than the Cowboys got for Amari Cooper, the Saints for Gardner Johnson, and the Jaguars for LaVisca Chenault Jr. Taking a look back at everything that Roseman has done in the last two years, it's absolutely astounding what he's been able to accomplish. Every problem that arose, he'd have a quick solution for, and the controversial moves that would increase the amount of cries for him to be let go would prove to be deals he and the Eagles would end up on the better end of. It is now almost universal among Eagles fans that Howie Roseman has done an unbelievable job in the past two years and has made up for his mistakes tenfold. And during the 2022 season, the Philadelphia Eagles roster is one of the most deep and talented rosters in the entire league. Every position is filled with above average or better players, and they have done more than most teams across the league in the offseason. The Philadelphia Eagles are poised to be contenders this upcoming year, not only in the weak NFC East, but the entirety of both the NFC and the league as a whole. Above all that, with two first round picks next year, two seconds the year after that, and many of the team's young stars extended or likely headed towards one, Howie Roseman has set this team and organization up for many years of success, rising from the depths of the league's GMs to living in a penthouse apartment at the very top.